All right, we left the cave and now we are swimming back to the dock. We've been picked up by our trike and today we are going on a island hopping tour around Corone. This is one of the most popular things that you can do in all of Corone. We decided to hold off on El Nido and do Corone instead because the coral's prettier here, there's more islands to visit, and the water we think is just a little bit prettier. So we are so excited. We're going to show you everything we do today. We have made it to the boats and right away a bunch of locals run up to you trying to sell you waters and stuff but we have to make it to the second boat back so we have to walk across the first boat to get to our boat so here we go like we went to the wrong classroom on the first day of school. <laughs> We're in the wrong boat. <laughs> Alright, we've been sitting on the boat for like an hour now and we are finally about to leave and go to our first spot. I'm not sure where we're going first, but either way, it'll be pretty. We are pulling up to Green Tree right now, and the tour guide is going to kind of explain it all and what's it about. The water looks really pretty already. Yes, I do. We didn't look good. So, it's up to you. It's okay. We are about to get in the water and go snorkeling. The water is super green here. Just look at it. This is easily some of the best coral we've ever seen. Yeah, I don't know if you can find much better coral than this. Like, this is crazy. There are thousands of fish, and the water is so clear and blue. It is seriously so amazing. This is so cool. This is worth the money alone just to come here and see the coral and all the, all the sea life in it. For sure, this is amazing. <sighs> the Philippines is awesome. Yeah, Philippines. <laughs> It's so underrated, I feel like. Mm -hmm. oh, well, we're gonna enjoy the snorkeling and check out more coral. All right, we just got back from snorkeling and just wow, the coral was awesome. But we're back on the boat and we are about to move to the next spot. That we don't know, sir. Yeah. <laughs> they called they called that the mobile 7-eleven <laughs> all right we just made it to cyc beach it's our next stop it's kind of like this little island that has a beach on it we have like a little swimming area and then a little snorkeling area it is so far the least impressive place that we've been the first place we went was absolutely incredible and this place just looks like a little island that has a bunch of people on it so we're gonna go swimming and probably snorkeling again and maybe chill on the island for a little bit and then we are heading to lunch onto the beach now and it's so crazy because I said like oh this is one of the least impressive places but when you look out from the island it's insane yep, still. it's still like, beautiful 
even when it's not impressive, you kind of get like numb to the views here, yeah. I feel like. It's so beautiful. And another thing to note, we are paying, I think $56 for the two of us to come on this. And obviously that like breaks our budget right away. <laughs> but I am so glad we decided to splurge and do the tour here. Instead and, of El Nido. Yes, it's just so beautiful. And honestly, the diving in the, or snorkeling in the coral is probably, it just makes it worth it on its own. Right, and we're gonna see some absolutely gorgeous places coming up after yeah. lunch so hopefully the sun comes back out it's a little cloudy but yeah, little we're gonna windy. we're gonna lay our towels out and lay on the beach for a minute yeah. <laughs> Back to the boat. It's almost lunchtime and we are starving, so. Yeah. All right, the little um, guy on the boat selling some hey, chips. Bye. I got some sour cream bye onion. Bye. Should be Let's good. Go. pulling up to the beach that we're gonna eat lunch on now and it's really pretty again. Everything's just so beautiful here. Alright, our lunch is out and it looks like a feast. There is a lot of different stuff. There's fish, fruit, veggies, noodles, a little bit of everything. All right, we'll see you after we eat. Kyle's going to the bathroom right now, but we have finished lunch. It was actually super good. They had a lot of different options and it all tasted really good. But now we're just kind of chilling for maybe like 15 more minutes and then we're going to head to probably one of the prettiest lakes we will ever see in our lives. So we're really excited. All right, we are leaving our beach lunch spot now and we are gonna head towards the famous Kayagnan Lake. That's how the um, tour guide told me to pronounce it. So we're heading that way now and it should be Pretty. We're pulling into our last spot right now, and you can already tell that the water is so clear. Like, it's such that pretty turquoise color. I'm excited for this one. Okay, so to get to this lake, we actually have to get off the boat and walk on these little like dock type things that they have built. And then like up a mountain. Yeah, like, down the it's other like side. 300 something steps that he was explaining. And then we get to the lake, so it should be really pretty. There's an overlook to take a picture of the lagoon at, but there is a really long line, so Maddie and I are skipping that. And we're just walking to Kaijun Lake right now. So we just walked up, now we're on our way down, like 100 something steps on the way down. All right, Maddie is getting in the water here. It's a little dark cloudy out so the water is not as blue but I mean look behind me and it's just it's insane <laughs> it's crazy blue still
the water here is just so clear. You can see everything under the, underneath. It is a lot harder to float here because- This is 70% fresh water and 30% salt water, so it's brackish. Yep, so, so we're not, not very buoyant here. <laughs> no, that's why you have to wear your life jacket in here. You don't technically have to wear it, you just have to have it by you. Yep. There's a legit cave here. This is scary. <laughs> yeah, and it goes back even further. This is scary. This is so cool. It's so clear still too. Like, wow, this is a little bit scary. Literally all of the other tourists are just swimming in the lake and then there's a cave over here with nobody in it. It's crazy. All right, we left the cave, and now we are swimming back to dock. And we are gonna head back to the boat. Instagram versus reality. <laughs> Well, we just finished up at our last spot. We are on the boat and we're about to head back, but today was a pretty great day. So much better than yesterday. Yes. <laughs> we don't always get to do tours, so when we do, it usually ends up being pretty good, and I would say any Corona tour will be a good day. For sure, and when I, like Kyle said, we don't get to do tours often because of our budget, but when we do, we really take it all in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I guess this is the end of today, and next time we see you, we will be in Cebu. Or actually, yeah, we'll be in Cebu. Yeah. So, we'll see you then. Catch you in a couple days. Bye.